Okay, let's do acceleration. This is three axis x, y, z using the really good ADXL362 here. All the connections are there to the chow and we will go look at this. So here's the part in the course. Uh, go to the code. I always copy the code. There it's copied. That's the information we're looking for. So um, where do we go? VN 3.3 going to there. Uh, ground, nice black wire there, going to here. Uh, it's one up. And then all the um, SPI, MOSI, MISO, SIC, and D7. So a reminder at the bottom of your Make 100 page, you have all those showing you. There we go, Mossy, Miso, SCK, and this is the extra pin. So, let's continue. I've copied that. Ah! I've copied that. Um, let's get these back. And let's paste that. Let's fire it off. Let's have a look at it again. <coughs> so, here's the code. We're including ADXL362. We've got some values there. We're beginning serial monitor. We are, oh, there's the variable. I've called it X1, which is probably not the best variable name. Um, and I'm beginning to measure. That's all in the setup. And uh, all it's doing is it's reading all the values and the temperature and then it's printing it out. I'm not actually printing the temperature, so this, this sensor has the temperature as well. Let's check my port. Port is the right one, serial monitor, and let's make that really big. Now, look at this. We're looking for the negative 9.8, and if you really don't like these values, you can adjust them using um, you know, some linear algebra, add something to it. Um, but the Z is definitely gravity at the moment. If I flipped it totally upside down, uh, that would now be a positive. And notice it's, it's, you know, it hasn't been adjusted perfectly. Now, if we flip it on the side, we can easily tell which one is facing down. It's the Y axis. Whereas if we flip it on this side, that Y axis is now going to be uh, ooh, this one's now negative, and the other one was positive. So now if we flip it towards the USB, now our X is positive this time, so this is X negative, so the X is facing down. And that's how you orient yourself with the accelerometers. Uh, yes, you can change those values. Let's look at the code. You could, well, this is actually reading it directly with, oh, here we go. I've done a little bit of adjustment. I've multiplied it by, you know, uh, 1,000 divided by 9.8. So I've done a little bit of multiplication there. I haven't done any adding. So you could do some linear adjustment to those values if you wanted. But we typically use it for um, uh, force and things like if you're going like that. Did it change? Yeah, we went to some negative numbers. Let's just see what's going on here without breaking stuff. Uh, you see you're looking at plus 5, negative 15. That's what you're doing. And you'd use it with machine learning as well. Uh, and then you wouldn't have that delay you wouldn't have the delay code, you would be analyzing all the time. Anyway, that's it.